Diamonds win, diamonds win. That's right, a happy crowd here at Hayden Road for this cool Tuesday evening. The final score line, AFC Russian Diamonds 2, Banbury United 1. I'm with the man of the match, Jordan McLeod. Jordan, well done. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you're, you're a new player for Diamonds, and wow, what a start. You score a goal in only the sixth minute. Tell us about that goal. Oh, well, you know, I'm just in and around the box, just job, and uh, just get on, on the end of things, and a little wind is there, so I just get my foot to it. That's what I'm there to do. Uh, there the, to score, so. the expression is gold mouth scramble, and you were in the right place at the right that's time. That's it. That's what they say, the right place, in. right time. And it was an excellent start for you and the team to lead 1-0 so early. Yeah. But uh, Banbury hung tough, and uh, they really came out flying the first five, ten minutes. Very fast pace. Yeah, yeah. We, we kind of knew, like, the bits about them. Obviously, they're going to be tough. They're on a good run. They're up there. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. As well. Of course it is. But we knew we had to start start strong, get at them. Like, this is our home, so we want to make it a bit of a fortress. So I think we did that today. So hopefully we can build on it. <laughs> You have to give credit to uh, Janal Gordon. That was a heck of a goal he scored from that. Yeah, it's a great strike. Out. Great strike. I thought we could maybe close down earlier on, but sometimes when people hit him like that, you just got to kind of accept them. <laughs> and then only four minutes later, Morgan Roberts scores his first goal. I believe you had an assist. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Tell us so about that one. Uh, just chasing down loose balls, what I do. And then uh, looking, he got on the end of it. He was in the middle, played into him. A bit of luck, and it fell to him. He put it in the back of the net. Great strike. Great strike. So uh, you go in at halftime, uh, Diamonds are leading 2-1. Uh, what was the mood of the team at the end? Uh, we knew it was only half a job. Uh, like always, half a job, you've got to come out again and go again. Um, and that was the thing, just getting back at it, not sitting back in, on the 2-1. It's a case of going again, 0-0, sure. nil, nil, start again, go build on it, which I think we did. The last thing I would have expected would, uh, was to be a scoreless second half, but that's how it turned out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes you just need to keep a clean sheet. When you're in the lead, a clean sheet, you'll take all the days in the second half. That means you go on, we get the three points, we move on to Saturday now. Well, exactly. Now tell us uh, just for a minute uh, about yourself personally. I believe you had been on a dual reg, right? A dual registration? Yeah, so uh, I'd been with Peter Sports uh, for a few years, um, and then I went off to America coaching, come back. Um, I thought I'd start again at Deepin, uh, which was a great, great start for me. Um, got me like, enjoying football again, got me scoring goals. Uh, went and played a game for people's sports. Um, and then I have an interest for Mandy and just the whole club and everything that like, attracted sure. me. And uh, I think it's a great move for me to come in. Hopefully we can go on and progress. So. You spent a year in the United States. That's a dangerous place. Isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> who knows? Well, what part of the States were you? Uh, New York. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Big Apple. So. <laughs> well, all right. Well, and then uh, a dubious honor for you. Uh, I always like to ask new players uh, growing up as a kid. Did you have a favorite team you supported? Maybe a favorite uh, player? Nah, there's only one team you can support. It's Liverpool, isn't it? Ooh, the Reds. Well, yeah, they're having an excellent one. season That's so it, far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only got a draw, though, the other night. They still uh, haven't well, lost. Nah, favorite was, player, maybe? Steve? Uh, I'd say Mane. Mane. Oh, oh, yeah. He's yeah, Mane. A heck of a player as well. Well, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with your next opponent. We play in the FA Trophy against yeah, my quirk of the schedule, Van <laughs> United. Early thoughts about that game? Uh, just to build on tonight, really, and we go again. Uh, hopefully get the win and move on to the next round. So we can just look to build on this now and make this, like I said, make this a fortress at home and we don't drop points here or drop in the cup. So... All right, well, thanks, Jordan, and welcome to Diamonds. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jordan and Bruce. And now here with manager Andy Peaks. Andy, I think it's a long time since we've stood here after a, a league win. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, I'm delighted with that. Um, I've kept saying, even from this time last week at Tamworth, I was very upbeat. I thought the performance was good. I could see the belief. Um, and I did say to him, Tamworth, at the end, I said, not me funny, you've shown loads of desire tonight. And you've dug in and you've shown how much it matters. And I said, if you keep that attitude... Um, results will turn around and they nearly did that Saturday it was a good point we could have won and then tonight we've played you know everyone could see what a good team we've played and we've won and yeah we've skinned the teeth at times but I think our first win after losing a few was always going to be like that yeah I mean uh, I think a bit nervy in that second half wasn't it but that's on the expected it's, yeah I mean we, everyone gets you know we all get management players supporters everyone get a little bit nervous and you you stop doing the things you do well, the passing the ball, and you just want to get it forward quickly, but then it comes back quickly. But that always happens when you've had a couple of defeats and you need to bounce back. That, that's, that's natural. We got off to, I didn't think we got off to the best start. They probably had a couple of chances in this first few minutes. You must have been a bit worried because they were piling forward. We didn't start great, although we had, the first 20 minutes was very, very open, if I'm being honest, probably too open. Um, so yeah, but that, that, they, they're a good team. They, they're they're going to attack them. We know the way they play, so I expected that. Um, you know, I thought we looked a threat as well. 
We did indeed. In fact, they were attacking with seven men at some times, and that's not bad for the Y so. But let's go back ten minutes in. Um, best signing you've made? <laughs> well, we've, we've wanted a goal scorer for a while. I've made no, you know, I've not heard that fact. Someone a little bit different from what I've got. Um, and so yeah, I got Jordan in. I knew at the weekend he was going to be coming. It was a bit too soon for him at the weekend, uh, but he was always going to come tonight. And yeah. Could have kept it pretty much as I did Saturday, but decided with I waited a long time for a striker like him, and I wanted to play him. Um, so yeah, for him to score that early, yeah, delighted for me, delighted for him as well, really. The uh, the thing you noticed, he didn't think about it, did he? he just hits it and it's in the net. Yeah, he's, he's a natural goal scorer. He's all scored goals. I've known him for a few years, playing at different levels, and he gets in the right areas. Um, he does most of his work in and around the goal, um, and that's something we've not really had. Well, they got a good goal. I mean, uh, Gordon uh, put it in the top corner. I'm not sure Ben could have done much about it. No, it was a fantastic strike. I was a bit disappointed that they got to that area. I thought we should have stopped it at source, probably nearer the halfway line, if I'm being honest. When the first ball picked it up, he went through two tackles a little bit cheaply. And then, the got, you know, Gordon Janoy's got it. And I mean, if he's cut inside, he's an absolute rascal. You, you can't stop them, can you? But uh, shows the spirit in the team. Uh, we went back up the other end, and again, new striker, Mitch Cloud, dispossessing, getting the ball back. And we waited for Morgan's first goal. He's been unlucky the last few games. He took it well, didn't he? Yeah, you can see he's going to score goals. I keep saying he's, he's got a great future. Um, and he took his goal well, and he's deserved that over the, the games he's played, three or four, whatever it is. I can't remember. It seems like he's been here a while, actually, uh, which is good. Um, so, yeah, he deserved that, and he, he was a threat all night, I thought. Well, you must have been worried at half time because we had that chance to go 3 1 up. And, uh, I'm yeah, sure. yeah, that was disappointing. And like I said, I know penalties get missed, um, and I'm not going to beat Fuzzy over it. But I thought that could be key because right on half time, it's, it's a massive whammy for them to go in two down. And instead of that, they get the lift, and we're on the back foot. So, yeah, that was that was a whammy. Um, I'd said today we haven't had a penalty this season. I'd spoke to Fuzz before we were going to take it, yeah. Um, and then, ironically, we get one and miss it. So. Yeah, we dealt with it. I said the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes of the second half was key that we didn't give them another lift by letting them get in, in for um, back level. And um, we didn't. Um, and then we changed the formation a little bit, second half, to counter what they were doing. Um, made some changes, um, huffed and puffed. Uh, and by hook or by crook, we, we saw it through. Well, I think they have to put. I mean, they had that long header was the only thing I think in the second half, really. I thought they put they, the header was a great opportunity for them. They had a couple of free kicks in dangerous areas. One that Ben saved, one missed the target, one was blocked. And what they also did, they got a lot of crosses in, and I thought we defended really well in the box. Your Brownish, your Bullies, uh, your Ryan, your Collards, Zach. Them sort of people got some good headers in from balls. We we let them have too many crosses tonight, in my opinion, certainly second half. But as I said. Because we perhaps got a little bit deep because we haven't won for a while, that was always going to happen. Well, the nice thing is you had some defenders in there. You obviously had to play without some suspended players, and uh, the quality of our defending, we've always known it's been good. But last season was the same, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I was I was a little bit doubtful after the first half an hour if we could still defend because it was a little bit open. But yeah, that's going to be our strength, and I keep saying it. All of a sudden now we've picked a couple of results up. You know, I've made a couple of signings which have added to us. Um, We've got players back from injury, stroke suspension, which has added to us. And equally, some of the boys who haven't been playing as well as they can have found a little bit of form as well. So hopefully it bodes well for the next few weeks. And I know you're still looking to improve the squad and we'll see what happens in the next uh, couple of weeks. I'm always looking to improve it. I've, I've said that from day one when I first took it on from Stams that, you know, I always like what I've got. Uh, but if something comes better available and it fits into our budget or resources that we've got, then, you know, I'm, I'm interested. I'm not sure what it's like as a manager. You played Bambi United tonight. You got Bambi United again on Saturday. How do you? Is it back to the drawing board and think of new plans, new ways? Yeah, we'll have a good chat about it tonight because it was too open. Um, and for us to beat them again, I think we have to be better in certain areas. If I'm being honest, uh, but we've certainly seen enough tonight from both both teams. I feel they've got a good chance of winning Saturday if they play to their capabilities, them as well as us. Um, I still think we can improve in, on certain areas for Saturday. Um, but yeah, we look forward to it. At least we've got a bit of confidence behind us now. And the boys have worked hard for that three points tonight. Um, and I'm, I'm delighted for all of them. Oh, you, mate. I'm going to look at the league table for the first time in the league tonight. I never look at it this early. I've told you that before, John. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I don't need love.